Hello everyone. So my name is Daniel and I'm here at the beautiful campus at the University of Southern California where I work to talk about a different university, University of the People. So um, about a year ago I decided to pursue a computer science degree. Um, as a kid I learned programming in basic when I was about seven years old and I remember finding it very interesting and a lot of fun and um, I've always been really passionate about computers I've always liked messing with computers and, uh, and uh, just kind of like finding out how they work and things like that um, and about a year ago I, uh, I was playing this video game with my daughter with my 11 year old daughter the game was called Cuphead and I kind of liked everything about it, the gameplay, I liked the music, I liked the art in it. Uh, so I said, you know what, I think I can make my own video game. And I started looking online at different programs that would teach me how to make a game. So I took some online courses like with Coursera and uh, uh, YouTube, of course, Udemy. Um, and then as I was doing that, I realized, wow, I'm remembering these programming lessons that I took when I was a kid, you know, learning all this C-sharp language and um, and uh, Python too. And maybe I should try to do an online degree in computer science. So I was looking for online programs and basically uh, one thing led to another and I found the University of the People. Uh, I saw one of their, their ads and I really liked their message. I liked the idea of having, not free, but let's call it, affordable university <laughs> that is very flexible with you know when you attend how you attend and uh, that seemed like it was also pretty good quality it seemed like people that were on board on it were uh, and that developed the programs were pretty established people here in uh, in top universities in the US <laughs> so um, what I was looking for is just getting my fundamentals in computer programming and computer science too like just learning about algorithms understanding the more abstract uh, parts of computer science so um, yeah I joined the university and now I'm in my third term and I have to say that it's been a pretty awesome experience um, as far as the quality of the education goes I think this is on par with any like major computer science program you know in a top school now um, uh, regarding the accreditation because I know that that's a concern for a lot of you uh, I am not, I wouldn't recommend it if it's your only degree and then you're counting on that degree maybe to move on to a master's degree. In that sense I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because it's nationally accredited and a lot of universities in the US and I'm sure that also abroad too, like in Europe especially uh, may not accept this degree as far as recognizing the credits that you took here. Now that being said um, if you're interested mostly just in getting a job or learning how to code and uh, and then just having a good education in computer science I highly recommend it because unless you're looking for like a very specialized job and as a I don't know like a something that requires a PhD or a job in a university or uh, like teaching programming, unless, you unless you're going for something like that, no one is going to care where you got your bachelor's degree as long as you have it. So if you're just looking to work for a, for a company, for a startup, and even a bigger company, including Google, um, I think a University of People degree is plenty for that. <laughs> um, so, uh, and uh, as I said, the education, the quality of the educa education here is really good. <laughs> Now let me talk a little bit about the structure of each week here at the University of the People. So usually we start. Oh, look at that! Yeah. Okay. So um, each week starts on Thursday and ends on Wednesday night. Basically, on Thursday morning we're assigned uh, the materials for the following week, and those include some reading assignments. All the textbooks are open source and available online, and they're great actually. But the three textbooks that I've had to read so far have been fantastic and also the online resources and the solutions provided to the assignments, they're, they're all great. So the course materials are generally pretty good. The only complaint I have there is that some of them are a little outdated, just because technology evolves so quickly. And I mean, Java now is on version 11 and uh, in the course we're still using a textbook that's basically based on version seven of Java. 
which is fine. There are really not that many differences, especially for what we're learning and how. But yeah, we have our reading assignments. Then we have a quiz, which is usually an ungraded quiz. It's more for reviewing the materials that you learn about. Uh, there is one grade. Uh, there is a graded quiz uh, every three or four weeks or so. That that's been my experience, and the graded quiz actually weights a lot. It's uh, it's about twenty percent of the final grade in each course. So two of those are going to be pretty much almost like half of the credit that you get for the course. And uh, then there's a final exam, which is pretty much just another graded quiz. Um, these quizzes generally have the questions that are on the self. Um, self credit quiz, which he, which are the ones that are the review, that are provided for review every week. Um, so, um, so after the quizzes, also there is a discussion forum where you're given a topic that relates to the reading usually, and uh, you're supposed to just elaborate on that topic or answer a specific question. And those have been very valuable to me because I've actually learned a lot from those discussion forums. I guess the main reason is that um, uh, people do research and their research takes them in different trajectories that I might not have thought of. A really good example is uh, last week in Programming 2, we had to look up um, abstract data types and uh, just kind of further discuss them, why they're used, what for. Uh, and uh, I already had some familiarity with them just from my previous programming experience and uh, I understood how to build like linked lists and things like that but uh, but then some people showed some examples that I never really thought of and I realized that they're used for that so that kind of is something that I would never have looked up myself but then I just kind of learned from reading my student my fellow students uh, research so yeah great discussion forums are amazing I feel bad that I'm always like last minute with my contributions <laughs> because I'm just so busy every day but uh, um, they're always due on Wednesday and it's they're really more effective if you post like I don't know like on a Sunday so that you have like three days of people like reading your contribution and then commenting and you commenting to other people uh, and I've done that a few times I've posted early but sadly I'm usually there last day just figuring out an answer but my answers have been pretty good I'm pretty proud of my answers so um, in addition to the discussion forums, we have an assignment usually. In programming courses, which are the majority of the courses that I've taken, they're programming assignments. And um, they range in difficulty quite a lot. In the first two classes, Programming Fundamentals and Programming 1, they never really took me more than 10 minutes, maybe to an hour to complete. But now in Programming 2, we've had some really tough ones. I mean, this last one where we had to build a spell checker using a dictionary and we had to basically take user input and then check the words that the user inputs and um, kind of uh, compare it to the list of words in the dictionary and, uh, and then provide solutions like as far as correcting the word if it's misspelled. That actually took a while. It took me, it took me several hours to complete and, and still I feel like it's not the best solution. I mean it works but... Uh, it's a little messy. Anyway, um, so the programming assignments are great, though. I, I really like them. They're great. Also, I, I include them in like GitHub. I think I think those are great for just building up portfolio, showing that you're doing stuff. You're creating like little programs there. Um, then we have the learning journal, which really is just a, a way to write what you've been kind of to write, keep track of your progress each week. Um, I didn't realize how, I, I always thought it was kind of like a waste of time. They give you, oh, sorry about that, I changed the position. They usually give you an extra day to finish that one. And um, I was always kind of like just finishing up last day. But then I realized that, wow, this is actually kind of valuable because it really, it, looking back to what I was doing like a year ago, not, not even a year ago, maybe when I first started, it was like in August. so. Looking back like six months ago, half a year ago, I am so much better now at programming. So I feel like uh, like seeing how you grow is the value in those learning journals. So yeah, now I, now I think that they're great. They're a great part of the course. And, I, and in programming too, also we started having assignments in those learning journals. So in addition to writing about what we learn, we're also given like an extra programming problem to complete. Uh, so that's pretty much the course structure at the University of the People. The, um, 
I will say the instructors have been really good, especially in my first term. I had this one instructor from UCLA that uh, was teaching the programming fundamentals course, and I thought that I that this can't be right. I mean that professor who, who is by the way is an assistant professor at UCLA he is putting these detailed comments in my code and and telling me how I can improve it even introducing concepts that I was not familiar at all like the big O notation like for um, efficiency as far as the, the speed of the program um, yeah it was, it was just fantastic and the, the following instructors have been great too so they're always responsive at least that's been my experience I know some students might have not had this experience but for me it's been like that um, in addition to that, the community is great. So I'm on the Discord uh, Discord channel and I definitely recommend it for any new students or if you're just like someone new that wants to uh, that wants to ask questions about the program maybe, I think that's okay to join that. <laughs> um, that's pretty much all I have to say about the, the school. Um, I'm still fairly new, as I said, I've been there for six months now. So. Uh, I feel like I have a good idea of how the, the program is and uh, I definitely recommend it. I think you should go and check out their um, their website. I'm gonna put a link in the description, because why not? <laughs> I'm really bad at talking in front of the camera, you probably have noticed. I, I'm surprised if anyone actually uh, is still watching now this far into the video. I didn't really plan anything, it's just kind of spontaneous I guess, but I think that's good. That's, that's good practice, you know, public speaking. Um, so I hope you check out the rest of my channel. I have uh, some videos of my game that I'm developing called Piano Face. So please check that out. I'm gonna post some more some more music videos. I'm a, as I said, I'm a professional pianist and composer, and I have some cool projects that I want to share with everyone um, to kind of build up this this YouTube channel. Because why not? Everyone does that these days. So um, if you have any question, please let me know in the comments. Feel free to contact me. You can check out my website, which is also in the description. And I'll talk, catch you later. Bye.